Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Subnautica. In between the last episode and this one, uh, we got our lovely little desk set up here, uh, just so we can look out and, uh, and watch the ocean. And I've queued up a couple of blueprints for us, uh, one for the compass and one for the pathfinder tool, because uh, I think they're both going to be pretty useful in terms of us actually expanding out. So deploys holographic pathfinder disk, used to map a way out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Could be interesting, probably not going to use it often, but could certainly be interesting. And the compass, so we can get the compass heading on the HUD, which would be useful for us being able to say north, south, east, west, and all that jazz. Now, other things. This scanner map, the entire scanner room forgets what you've learned if you close the game and go back in. In between sessions, it destroys it all and it forgets the items that you found. So I've uh, I've got the camera two and camera three in place. I've set it as scanning again for fragments, um, but this isn't really gonna be practical for us going through and clearing out the fragments as they seem to respawn as well. Um, so either I never close the game, which it doesn't feel practical as an option, um, or we start using beacons to mark our way, places we've been, and stuff that we've done. So I'm gonna get a whole bunch of titanium, one, two, three, four, and a whole bunch of copper, which is probably in this one, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna make some beacons, and we're gonna go out and we're gonna mark places that we've been, and therefore places that we want to go. At least that's, that's my plan. I think that's a reasonable plan. Uh, I do want to get the compass made quickly, so we'll also get on that with the uh, with the copper wire in a moment. But at the very least, this is going to give us a nice bunch of beacons saying, hey, we've been here, we've cleaned all this out, or at least marking what things are. So with the wiring kit, we need two silver ore, we need two copper ore for that. Let's get on it. Now the respawning is good because it means we're gonna, sorry, let me just get the silver. Uh, we're going to be able to keep getting more resources, um, but it's obviously bad in the sense that it means we can't like clear an area. So there's the wiring kit. That's the copper wire. And there's the compass, which actually I should probably unpin now. There we go, unpin that. Let's have a look at it. Oh, it just automatically slots in. Uh, right, yeah, now we've got a proper indicator north, south, east, west. That's very cool. Right, do we have any more goopy bits? We need the seed clusters for the grapevine. I don't think we have any. So we're going to have to go out and get some of those. That seems like a worthwhile excursion. Before we head out. Let's eat the old, uh, old cooked peeper. Drink some water. In fact, I'm going to get some more water for that. There we go. We can grab more as we're out and about. But for now, that's going to be fine. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks, Seamoth. Let's try heading north. Let's see if we can get any grapevine clusters over here. Grab you quickly while I'm in the area. Because you will do for a nice snack later. There we go. There's some grapevine clusters. So creepvine, not grapevine. That's already filled us up. That'll do. The, uh, the extra 
What are you? Oh, you're just a creature egg. The extra um, power that we put onto our base is enough for us to get through the night. So that's a really, really good thing. It means that our scanner is going to keep keep going quite well. And it means this base is going to be sufficient for us to walk away from and come back and there'll be new scanning available. That's far enough. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, what else do we need? Copper ore and... Was that titanium? Yeah, one bit of titanium. We can fit that. So in the miscellaneous and overs, put a couple, well, we'll put many of them in there. This is running us low on copper ore, which is a little bit of a shame, but I'm sure we'll be able to get some more. We can always scan for some, should we need to. So first things first, copper wire. Then Pathfinder tool. As I said, we might not use this very frequently, but it'll be good to have it available should we need to. And I think we'll put it in the tools over here because it's not one we're likely to take out often. I want to keep the repair tool on us in case we run into stuff that we need to, uh, to repair. I'll leave the habitat builder behind. Uh, and yeah, we'll keep the scanner. I wonder if it's worth us bringing a battery with us like most of the time. I suspect it probably is, but it feels like a lot of effort. Probably should have made water from them, but we do have a lot of water over here. Okay. So, now we've got our north, south, east, west. I'm going to drop our first uh, first new beacon over at these creep vine clusters. Feels like a good place to do it down here. This is actually quite a deep cave. Yeah, let's uh, let's mark this as a deep creep vine cave. And actually, I think we can we can pop up and then pop down and have a look in. We might have already been in this one. But this is the good thing. By having the beacons here, we'll be able to mark when we've done a zone. Well, this doesn't look entirely familiar. I think we might even need our torch in here. Oh my word, this, is, this looks like a very dangerous place. Like, very, very dangerous. Yeah, no. That's a big fat no. Even I'm not that crazy. Don't want more stalker teeth. We'll take more lead, though. And more silver, because we've spent some silver already this... Uh, this episode. There's got to be something interesting in that bomb cave, though. That is my worry. Something like that just feels like it's... It's going to be interesting. And rewarding to go for it. And then... If we don't go for it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hate myself. I think what we might do is just quickly run and drop off what we've got back at base. And then we'll come back for it.
because we can get across quickly and get back quickly. This feels like a worthwhile compromise, and using this, actually, we can scooch very quickly past them and hopefully not get completely blown up. Right, so yeah, precious metals, let's drop them off. So silver, gold, silver, gold, copper, titanium, two of them. May as well eat the bladderfish. These will be fine for a little bit. And lead. We could start building some proper foundations in places. Okay, one last glug. Let's head over. Very handy that we've got it marked now. Very handy. So incredibly handy. Okay, down we go. We do want to grab everything we can in here. And we do not want to blow up. Can I actually get you? Damn Mesmer. Really don't want to have that thing take us anywhere. Okay, got away from him. That's good. Makes it a little bit safer in here. Just a little bit though. Did you blow up or are you still in there? He's still in there. But we need oxygen. So let's... Let's go get some first, and then we'll come back down. Don't mind me, mate. Just come and past. Hey, back down into the deep. just squidge past on the edge of this. Yeah, this goes even deeper. Oh my word. So pretty and so dangerous at the same time. What the hell's that? That feels painful. Is that like an underwater geyser, maybe? Okay, well, let's not go in there. Let's think about finding a way back out that's safe, which is going to be this side up and round. This side up and round. What a place. Okay, there is definitely something worth investigating. So let's get back down and in. It's 
So we go this way around. This way around. I'm gonna leave a beacon here. Really wanted to be around the other way. Some kind of underwater fissure. It is hurting a little, but it's not hurting a lot. Let's push through. And it's not still hot on this side. This is another way into it, okay. I'm gonna mark this exit as well. Hope that actually marked it correctly, but if not, we'll just head straight down and check it in a second. Yes, it did, right. Okay, so we've got Underwater Fisher, Underwater Fisher 2. I need to be out of the water, so I'm actually getting my oxygen back. So get straight over it, head pretty much straight down. Underwater fish are back is probably better. We don't want to get caught in the eruption, but I'm curious as to what else might be in here. Like, is there a whole upper section? And is this, like, deathly hellish if we're up here? We are potentially using a lot of our power with this. Not too painful. For the peepers, interesting. Yeah, really don't want to be in this flamey area, but I don't think we can really avoid it while we're here. Is there anything else to get? I don't think so. Then let's just get out. <laughs> wow. What a place to find. Let's head back to the home base. Try and save our battery a little bit. Where did I leave the sea moth? There it is. And get a fresh bladder fish welcome aboard captain so we can uh, make some uh, some new water back at the home base so we didn't learn a great welcome deal aboard, but we captain. did find a very cool place I think we're probably a little bit thirsty after that. And we're going to grab the medical fabricator off the side as well. Right, we we'll, don't want the rotten one. We'll have the old cooked peeper. And the filtered water is fine. Though Those ones can just go in the bin. 
But we did get some copper. Right. Decomposing, decomposing, rotten. If I make a bioreactor, we could probably put them in that, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, that flashlight is almost dead. We do need to make another battery for it. So, two acid mushrooms and some of the copper oil that we've already got on us. There we go. And we'll have a spare with us as well. It's still got a teensy bit left. So, let's drop off the, the copper, the silver, and then uh, I think we'll pick a new direction to go. Uh, we do still have two beacons left, which is plenty. Have you got space for titanium? Yes, you do. You can have the lead. And the silver can go over there. All right, having a look at the map. If we take camera two over this direction, we've got a couple of fragments. We can see what that is and mark it up. Go over, drop a beacon down. Then we don't need to worry about them any further. There's another creep vine area. That's just a seamoth fragment. We don't care about that. Well, we don't care about any of these, actually. These are all way too close. Don't mind me. I'm just, uh, just coming down be like down here in the water away from stuff yeah that's uh, not going to be any use to us but it does give us an indicator that camera 2 is in the right place and there's a whole bunch of stuff over there near it so let's get to it camera 2 there you are It'd be good to be able to get like a little um, remote scanner room. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the sea moth nearby. Yeah, camera two's already been taken. That's kind of what I was expecting. Oh, hello. While we're here, don't mind if I do. Give me all that delicious copper. Okay, that is gone. Let's swap the battery out. Doesn't exactly go lower, but let's uh, turn this off. Actually, we don't need it right now. Instead, I'll get the scanner out because we're going to find 
the bits and bobs all over the place out here. Although, could do with it. In fact, we don't need air when we have this thing right here. As long as there's nothing that's going to eat us while we uh, while we top up, he says, looking at a very, very angry, hungry thing. Okay, so we don't care about the uh, the titanium debris. But I can mark this area with a beacon. So the question is, is it worth it? Do we have another beacon nearby? I thought we did have another beacon nearby, but maybe I'm mistaken. Let's get back on the uh, the brain coral, get some air back. Wasn't expecting him to swim kind of underneath us and go after the other thing, but apparently it did. Yeah, they're fighting. Just where the, uh, the territories cross over. Very interesting. Okay, well, we're going to want to at the edge then if we're looking for stuff over here that could be something bioreactor fragment we've already got the bioreactor but there is definitely something over there and something over here I want to find the rest of that laser cutter So metal salvage, nothing else interesting. Well, you, the Seamoth Fragment, may as well get it cleaned off. Nuclear waste disposal. That's new. New blueprint acquired. This was worth coming over. We're running a little bit low on our oxygen. Temporarily, let's drop a beacon, go up, get some air, come back down. Because there is definitely stuff in this area that we want to have a good look at. And we are getting closer to the uh, the ship, actually, which makes a lot of sense. So I'm just going to tag this beacon with wreckage. Let's see what else we can find. Metal salvage, metal salvage. I don't want metal salvage, I want useful pieces of things, like laser cutter fragment. It's two out of three. If we can find the third one, then we'll be able to cut into that other wreck that we saw. I 
I also want to scan the things that are alive around here. I haven't actually checked the back of those um, those leviathans. Because there could be interesting things on them. And I was definitely right in terms of things we can scan. Maybe not in terms of uh, things that we're going to be able to use, but... Very interesting. Let's get a teeny bit... Teeny bit more air, and then we will head back down and look for the next bit of wreckage to scan. That looks like giant teeth over there. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. There's the laser cutter fragment. Come on, let's get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Awesome. New blueprint acquired. I don't care that it's less efficient down here. I also don't mind if we die now because we have that laser cutter available for making. anything in here. Not really, this is just through and through. But still worth having a look at. Hey, a bar table! I'd happily have a bar table in my place. Right. Up we go. Get some air, then we'll come straight back down and continue the search. Nothing tucked in there, nothing over here. How about over the edge? Now, if only I remembered where that sealed bit of wreckage was, I suspect it's going to be some. Ooh, hello. It's going to be somewhere near. Let's open the data box. Okay, Ultra Glide Fins. That seems like it's going to be very useful. And life pod six through log. Got flares. Got some lead. Integrating new PDA data. Two lots of the crew logs. Okay, let's uh, let's get up to the surface. And we'll uh, take a moment to read those when we get back to base. I think I'm going to drop a beacon here for Life Pod 6. Just in case we ever need to come back for it. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Stop spinning! Five pods, six, there we go. Right, let's get over to the sea moth and head back to base. Scanning whatever we can on the way. I am curious if this is something scannable. No, it's just coral shell plate. 
You got anything? Another laser cutter fragment. It's funny, now we're finding them all over the place. We're also going to need some water, which I will quite happily re top up back at base. No, I am not a snack. It was not a particularly bad nibble, but we did get nibbled nonetheless. And all in the pursuit of goodies. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, back to base we go. What a successful run! We learned how to make a bar table, nuclear waste disposal, laser cutter. We're gonna make the laser cutter. We might be accidentally running through a whole bunch of stuff actually. There we go. All fixed. No one will ever know. Okay, I said we'd need a little bit of water. Let's get all three of them actually for now. I'll probably make a whole bunch of water um, in between this episode and the next just to stock up. Uh, same with like cooking and curing various bits. Let's unpin the Pathfinder tool. Pin the laser cutter, we need two diamonds. I wonder where we're gonna get diamonds from. That is definitely a new challenge for us. The rest of it, we've got loads of. We've also got the ultra glide fins. That I believe we learned how to make. I would have thought they would be in the personal bits. Unless it's a building upgrade. It's always possible that it's going to be a building upgrade. We'll make another beacon at the very least. Yeah, doing the speed upgrade isn't really going to do... Oh, scanner room hard upgrade. Oh yeah, we need magnetite for that though. Oh, magnetite. I wish we could find some. Okay, let's, uh, let's go get some food. And I'll grab some extra bladder fish while I'm out here. So we can restock our water as well. You, you look tasty. Couple of peepers. Yeah, that's easily enough food. And one more bladder fish down there for good measure. All the water, then all the food. I wonder if that um, fisher would have diamonds in. It's also possible that we could find it at one of the crash sites or something like that. So it might be worth us going and trying to explore further afield. Either way, it has been a successful... There we go, all nice and stocked. A very successful run today. Let's put those three in. We've got some flares, so they're going to go in the tools. 
And then we've got all those materials to drop off as well. Uh, we may need to make another big titanium thing, actually. Looks like we are running out of space for all the titanium. Still, there are definitely worse problems to have. Okay, uh, I should get the Habitat Builder back. Because we want to check what that nuclear waste disposal needs. Okay, not anything in there. Bioreactor we could make. We could also make an aquarium. There's the bar table, nuclear waste disposal, used to dispose of nuclear waste. Well, I mean, I'll put it next to the, the other disposal. It's not like we're low on, on materials. Oh, it's just a trash can. I mean, I like it as far as aesthetics go. Make a little side side table. What do we need for that? Glass, of course. Well, I'm not that fussed to make it right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, we can make another titanium rod. So we'll go ahead and do that. But I think that's probably going to be all we have time for for this episode. I almost signed off without actually going through and doing the uh, the crew logs. Let's, uh, let's have a look at them right now. Okay, so in the data bags, data downloads, Aurora Survivors. So we had the 17 crew log from previously and then LifePod 6 crew log 1 and 2. Let's do 17 first. How's his log? It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema, there, there was a zero G gym, my cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Yeah, I mean, when you're by yourself and you're isolated, it's fair to, to feel that. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that didn't go as well for them as it did for me. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. And that explains why there was a big hole in it. Oh, man. You got, got to feel for them. All right. Well, that is going to be it for, uh, for this time. Yeah, there's the bioreactor and there's the three vehicles that we've got. Specimen with symptom of infection, yeah. Definitely, definitely something going on on this planet. Uh, thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. 
as always if you have be sure to give a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live otherwise i'll see you next time for another episode of subnautica see you soon <laughs>